Hello friends, welcome to my new video on IRC method for flexible payment design. In this video, we will discuss about the evolution of the IRC method for flexible payment design. Apart from that, we will discuss about the different terminologies that are associated with cumulative standard Excel. So let's begin our video. The Indian Road Congress has specified the design procedure for flexible payment design based on CPR values. The payment designs given in the previous edition that was 1984 were applicable to design traffic up to 30 million standard excels. The reason for that is during those times the vehicles were there were no such heavy vehicles compared to the modern world present era that is why I can say present era. The earlier code is empirical in nature which has limitations regarding applicability and extrapolation. This is what the drawback is or limitation is. These guidelines follow analytical designs and develop a new set of designs up to 150 MSA in IRC 37-2001. So this is IRC 37-1984 chart. The Indian Road, Indian Road Congress first bought out a guideline for designing bituminous payment in 1970 and it underwent various modification and latest one was IRC 37 2018 I need to correct this one so IRC 37 2018 is the latest modification the figure presents a schematic payment design chart given by IRC 37 1984 in this design chart the total payment thickness could be read for a given CPR value and cumulative standard excels so this is the chart for a cumulative standard excel of suppose 8 million and the CBR strength of 3 percentage we get the depth of construction that of subgrade that's 700 mm so that's how we decide the depth of construction this considering the CBR value for the subgrade soil one can design the thickness of the pavement to be placed over the subgrade so this much is depth is required to place it over the subgrade. Further considering the CBR value of the subbase, one can design the thickness of the payment to be placed over the subbase and so on. So this is the latest modified chart of IRC 37-2012. The design chart as per the latest IRC 37-2012 is schematically presented in as shown in the figure. For the known values of traffic, the payment design thickness values for individual layer can be read from the chart. Suppose the traffic is 2 million standard XL. So this is how we get the different layers. So this is how we read the different types of soil layers. Considering it is 5 million standard, phi for this one, this is the GSB layer, this is the GB layer, this is the DBM and this is the STBC layer. The design chart is based on contemporary mechanistic empirical payment design principle. In these guidelines, design principle and provisions have been made available for design of bituminous payment with various combination of that's the combination like granular base, granular sub-base, GSB, cemented base, CB, cemented sub-base, CSB, formed bituminous base emulsion treated RAP so this is how we have to find the design traffic so the terms that are involved in finding a design traffic are the initial traffic traffic growth vehicle damage factor lane distribution factor and design life in terms of number of years so these are the symbols that we use for initial traffic that's capital A traffic growth is R vehicle damage VDF lane distribution D Note, the method consider traffic in terms of cumulative number of standard XLs 8160 kg to be carried out by the payment during the design life. So the traffic design is considered in terms of cumulative, cumulative number of standard XL in the lane carrying maximum traffic during the design life of the road. So how we calculate is this is the formula to calculate the cumulative number of standard excel that is the design traffic we have to calculate using this formula n is equal to 365 into 1 plus r is to n minus 1 the whole by r into a into d into f where n is the cumulative number of standard excels to be created for the design in terms of million standard excel that is msa 
A is the initial traffic in the year of completion of the construction in terms of number of commercial vehicles per day. You need to keep in mind it is the number of commercial vehicles. B is the lane distribution factor. F is the vehicle damage factor. N is the design life in years. Whereas the R is the annual growth rate of commercial vehicles. R is equal to 0 0.075. That's the IRC recommendation or it is 7.5 percent per annum i think this value is also further changed because it's now i think 11.5 something around initial traffic the initial traffic is determined in terms of commercial vehicle per day that is cvpd for the structural design of the payment only commercial vehicles are considered so this is the main point you have to understand like for the structural design of payment only commercial vehicles are considered because they consider the damage to the payment is caused by the commercial vehicles only or the normal vehicles with further repetitions can cause the damage we can go for this further on a new video i am discussing about why only commercial vehicles are considered estimate in the of the initial average flow for any road should normally be based on 7 day 24 hour classified traffic count the traffic growth that is the traffic in the year of completion is estimated using using the formula a equal to p 1 plus r raised to x where p is the number of commercial vehicle as per the last count at x is the number of years between the last count and the year of completion between the last count and the year of the completion of the project sorry i have repeated it twice so x is the number the number of years between the last count and the year of completion of the project so for an example the traffic in the year 2020 is 428 commercial vehicles per day the growth of traffic is 8 percentage so what will be the forecasted traffic in the year of 2017 so using the above formula e equal to p 1 plus r is to x where the initial traffic p as per the last count was 428 cv per day the traffic growth that is 8 percentage is already given and the dis the difference between the traffic in the year 2012 and the forecast the traffic to be forecasted in 2017 is 5 years that is x is equal to 5 the value comes out to be 628.8 cv per day so the next term comes is the vehicle damage factor f the vehicle damage factor is a multiplier for converting the number of commercial vehicles of different excel load and excel configuration to the number of standard excel load repetition so this is an important terminology you need to like learn it or understand it so it is defined as the equivalent number of standard excel per commercial vehicle the vdf varies with the excel configuration excel loading terrain type of road and from region to region the excel load configuration the excel load equivalency factors are used to convert different excel loads repetition into a single standard excel so this is the use of the vehicle damage factor terminology it is used to convert different excel load repetition into equivalent standard excel load repetition for these equivalency factors refer irc 37 2001 so this is how the vdf is calculated the weighted average of the damage factor caused by the individual excel load group for the corresponding volume of traffic is called the vehicle damage factor which can be represented using this formula I think I need to keep it much smaller yes you can see the VDF is the like a1 w1 by ws to the power 4 it is also called the fourth for power formula plus a2 w2 by ws to the fourth power plus a3 w3 by ws to the fourth power and so on divided by total volume or num total number of vehicles that's all where w1 w2 w3 are the median values of the excel load a1, A2, A3 are the, are the respective number of Excel surveyed and WAS is the standard Excel load that is 8, 80 kN, 81 kN and V is the number of vehicles surveyed that is the volume and comes the vehicle distribution factor that is the last terminology it is a realistic assessment of the distribution of commercial traffic by direction and by lane is necessary as it directly affects the total equivalent standard excel load application used in the design 
So until the reliable data is available, the following distribution may be assumed. So there are four type categories that are classified, like it's single load, the single lane road, two lane single carriageway roads, four lane single carriageway road, and dual carriageway. For single lane road, we consider vehicle distribution factor to be one. For two lane single carriageway roads, we consider it to be 0 0.75. For four lane single carriageway road, we consider it to be 40 percentage, which is 0 0.4. For dual carriageway, that's a dif different case. Like for the design of dual two-lane carriageway roads should be based on 75% of the number of commercial vehicles in each direction. Whereas for dual three-lane carriageway and dual four-lane carriageway, the distribution factor will be 60% and 45% respectively. So this is how we find the different types of terminology like it is VDF, lane distribution factor, traffic growth. So in next video we will be doing a numerical on this